Alright, so I'm playing Saints Row 4. I forgot that I had this game, so yeah, I'm going to record it some more. It's actually on the PS4 gameplay. Uh, funny story, I actually had this on PS3, but the disc got cracked where you put the finger slot. And I, I think I already explained that. Uh, so I rebought it on PS4. Let me show you this cool gun I got. It's like a golden Uzi. It has the same model from Vice City Stories. And then it has the golden texture from the Ballad of the Gate Tony. You see that? I want to talk about uh, Machinima. Now, Machinima, I've been subscribed to their channel for two or three years. And honestly, they're firing people and I just don't like the fucking new guys, you know. The fucking new guys they have there, I don't know who the fuck they are, but I know they're new. They're just the kind of people that, you know, who the fuck invited this guy? And, you know, you you see, it, it's like a character in a cartoon. You see that character in a cartoon, but he's not important. And you're thinking, why the hell is he even here? He's just there to be there, basically. That, that's what I think about the new guys in Machinima. And, you know, I hate to say it, but I had to unsubscribe to them because they're just... They're not even talking about gaming anymore. They're talking about fucking, you know, Justin Bieber and PewDiePie and all those fucks. Those have nothing to do with gaming. I don't care if PewDiePie is a fucking gamer. He doesn't control Call of Duty and whatever the fuck you want. He doesn't control Grand Theft Auto. He doesn't have any type of effect on gaming whatsoever. I don't care how much subs he has. You know, they're just doing shit like that and it gets really fucking annoying. So, yeah. And... You know, the, like I said, the new guys, I don't fucking like them. So, I basically... Hold on a second. Ah, I missed my chance. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to stop pressing it because it gets harder and harder and you have to press it more faster and I don't want to do that shit. But anyway, like I said, I don't like the new guys. They're changing their format. You know, fuck Machinima. They're not my type. There we go. And, you know, Machinima might think to themselves, it's not a big deal, we have billions of subs still. Well, if you knew who I was, and you took the time to research who I was, you would very indeed care. You would actually pay me to subscribe back to your channel, but, you know, all that's irrelevant right now because I don't really care about your channel anymore. I lost interest in it. You know, I thought it was cool when you started to do the little... Uh, what was it? Uh, little animations. You started promoting animations like, what was it? Renegade Awesome, and you had, you know, well, actually, I think they all have their own channels doing it now, but there was Renegade Awesome. There was, let me think of it. It's the one with Lou, Happy Saloon. You know, that one was brilliant. I love that series. You know, there wasn't one episode that was stale or flat. And Sonic for Hire, Sonic for Hire, I actually think that was a clip-by-clip -clip movie. And, you know, even though they stopped making it and they made their final episode, I thought it was great. You know, all the stuff like that that was uploaded. But now you're just uploading a bunch of junk. You know, like, for instance, Smosh doesn't agree to becoming... Nintendo's next game or something like that. He doesn't want to make a cameo or appearance. You're going to make a news statement about that as if it's a big deal. Uh, last time I checked, Smosh does not have any control over the updates in Grand Theft Auto or any other game I play. He does not have any control of the next game that's going to be released. So, you know, I just don't care about news like that. News like that is very irrelevant to me. I don't care about Smosh and all the other gamers that make millions. I really don't care. They don't affect me in any way. I don't pay attention to them. I'm not a fan of them. That's just the way it is. And when you make news like that, I could care less. You know, all the stuff like a uh, gamer gets swatted and SWAT comes into their houses and fucking points guns at them. And, you know, stuff like that. That's what I'm interested in. I'm not really interested in whatever you have to tell me about someone, what they're doing on the internet that's not really that serious. Or maybe the next update like Heist. If you probably stick to videos like that for Grand Theft Auto, then I'd probably still be subbed to you. But when it all comes down to it, you're not interested anymore. You got rid of the pretty good guys. I mean, I know how they were. They were fucking... Don't, don't get me wrong. Uh... 
Steve and uh, what's the other guy's name? Steve and then there's Aaron or something like that. I don't know what the fuck his name is. Uh, those guys, they were PC elitist as fuck, but at least they were pretty much listenable. I don't like the other fucking guys. I don't like their voice, but Steve and uh, whatever the fuck the guy's name is. Yeah, yeah, and don't get me wrong. Like, you look past their old videos, they were PC elitist. They had to sneak in every single smart aleck thing about what PCs can do, and you know, it's just, that that's pretty fucking messed up because you think about it, you know, of course I'm going to go to PC one day, but I'm not going to abandon my consoles. That's just the way it is. I'm still going to own a PS4 for fucking probably games like Far Cry and Saints Row, you know? But, yeah, I am moving to PC, and I already told you guys that because I don't want to pay for fucking PlayStation Plus to play online games. Why would I do that when I could buy a system that have 1080p, 60 frames per second, or maybe 4K, and play online for free. Instead of just staying locked on 30 frames per second, 900p, and having to pay fucking Sony. You know, I, I, that just sounds like a ripoff to me, so, like I said, but Steven Larson, that's their fucking name. Steven Larson, those guys were like, one of them were PC elitists as fuck, and that would always piss me off because, you know, they didn't need to act like that. Like, I remember when they were talking about GTA 5, they had to go around and say that, oh, we can't wait for the PC version for smooth 60 frames per second, when clearly it had nothing to do with the video at all. They were doing a review on PS4, and then they had to bring up that or something like that to be smart, Alec. The only reason I would do something like that would be like, which version would you prefer? Like, this version, you prefer the Xbox One, do you prefer the PS4, blah, blah, blah. That's the only time you bring up something like that, but they were being smart, Alex, about it, so... Yeah. I'm not, you know, putting Steven Larson on a pedestal, but I'm just saying that they were better than the, whoever the hell is on there now. And no offense to those guys. You know, you're doing your fucking job, but... For some reason, I just don't like you. You know... Put it this way, it's like a fucking girlfriend and this guy likes her. This girlfriend already has a boyfriend and the guy tries to get with her but she just doesn't like him. She likes her boyfriend she has now. That's pretty much the only example I can kind of set of how I feel. And no, I'm not talking about it in that way, you fucking bastards. I know what you're thinking. But no, I'm just talking about, like, the old guys, they were pretty good. But the new guys, I don't know them. I don't fucking even like their style, so I don't really like those guys. But, you know, that's just me. Bye-bye, Machinima. You can't really win me back. What I've done is what I've done. And I've been here. All good stuff has to die at some point or another. That's all. That's what I learned. I learned that everything good in life eventually fades away. Everything. That's why good cartoons are starting to become softer. So, you know, people can just watch the cartoon. Like, you know, cartoons used to be lean towards kids. And it used to be t towards adults too. But now they're trying to make it to where it's for kids only. And the only way they could be funny is by putting goofy stupid stuff when like there's literally no adult jokes or nothing in these kid shows anymore like powder puff girls and stuff like that so eventually all good stuff does fade away and machinima well we've been here for a long time and you know you, you don't need me to be on your channel watching your videos you could still do whatever you want. You can go on it without me, but I'm just not going to watch your videos anymore. I, I lost interest. And I don't think there's any way you can get me to watch your videos again. I don't think so. So, I guess that's about it. Peace, I'm out. Well, actually, I'm going to get on this bridge and shoot someone, then I'll say I'm out.